collectors and action figure fans, it's the one and only Optobotomist coming to you with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to the folks at Mattel, we're going to be taking a look at the new Jurassic World Action Attack Carnotaurus. For the package, you have this really nice open display that actually lets you try the Action Attack feature. On the back of the package, you've got the other figures that are currently available in this new Action Attack line, as well as another image showcasing the massive chomping action. Also, much like all of these new Jurassic World figures, you can use this toy in conjunction with the Jurassic World Fax app, which allows you to scan the bottom of the animal's foot and get some facts on the actual dinosaur. And here we have Carney opened up and out of her packaging, and she is a meat-eating bull. Uh, literally, uh, Carnotaurus. Carno is Latin for flesh, and Taurus means bull. So the flesh eating or meat eating bull. One thing that's also really cool is, as far as we know, the Carnotaurus is the only bipedal carnosaur that had horns. Now, the purpose in these, obviously, we do not know, but the general look of, of this is rather kind of silly, to be totally honest, mostly because of these stubby little arms. Now, I know the T-Rex had stubby arms, but these ones are really kind of goofy looking. Uh, but let's uh, do some sizing here. So i uh, come back here. Got the old tape measure. Go from the snout all the way to the tail. And we're looking at about 15 inches or so uh, from the ground to the top here. You're looking at about uh, seven and three quarter inches. So pretty good size figure here. As you can see, you do have the horns nicely uh, sculpted in there. Again, the rest of the body is beautifully sculpted. You can see some nice kind of uh, horned ridges going down the back, which, you know, according to skeletons and everything, uh, is fairly accurate. Again, the, the coloring, uh, we don't know, but I think it looks pretty good. You got all these little black spots throughout the entire thing. Some nice reddish orange color throughout the whole thing. Nice paint here on the claws. Good paint detail on the head as well. Uh, I do, again, much like the T-Rex, wish that the lower jaw had a little bit more of a fade to... I don't, I mean, I don't mind so much the light color. I mean, obviously, that's kind of underneath here. But I wish it would uh, fade a little bit more into the dark color here towards the base of the jaw. But again, really gorgeous paint detail uh, through the rest of the, uh, the overall figure. Really quite, quite nice. Everything on here is just very nicely sculpted. Uh, taking a look at these little arms... <laughs> Again, you can kind of leave them out like that, and it just looks like doo -doo -doo. I, I, <laughs> they're silly looking, honestly. Uh, uh, they really do, in a lot of images that I, I've seen, you know, looking this up and everything, they kind of look like bird wings, honestly. And a lot, I mean, that's a prevailing theory with dinosaurs that some of them actually evolved to be birds. And it kind of makes sense uh, with, with the way that these arms are kind of structured. They do sort of look like wings. Now for uh, her articulation here, uh, basically what you have is just the legs and the tail. I mean, the arms also, I mean, you can see that they swivel and then they also do hinge in and out, but there's real no point to these arms uh, in any way, shape, or form. Uh, the head as part of the gimmick here uh, can move forward. Unfortunately, it doesn't really do anything else. It doesn't rotate or anything, and it doesn't really look down. I mean, you can kind of go like that and, and just straighten the, uh, the neck out, but it's going to pop back up and... Obviously, you have the gimmick, and one thing that's interesting is the way the way it is. It kind of looks like a a turkey, or a, you know, a, a duck, or I, I don't know. I mean, the ones that they, their their heads move as they walk. I mean, that's kind of interesting. That's what I first kind of. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, oh, there we go. Doo -doo. Uh, how did I get that to do it? Oh, there we go. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, well, no, that whole thing's gonna just flop. Uh, the legs here do have uh, some outward motion which is nice and then you do have the rotation here but again you see that they're locked in this position so you're kind of i mean you can kind of get her a little bit uh, more upward looking and i i guess maybe more lower uh position it, uh, again very bird looking it, it's interesting to me uh, and then the tail at the base here is articulated it's on a ball joint so you can rotate that around and you can kind of 
position that that's really cool i do like that and i love how the paint detail carries on on the actual tail itself uh, also i should mention the ankles can rotate uh but w when you do it uh, it does break up the sculpt but again i don't know really why you would i i can't imagine maybe with the little gimpy arms i don't know <laughs> i don't know uh, but as you can see the uh the action feature is you push down this button which again really nicely blended in with the back itself you push that down and it brings the neck here down and then it brings the jaw open which also then kind of makes the top part of the head open one thing that i love great detail on the inside you can see the yellow teeth you got the tongue sculpted in there which looks really good you got this weird fleshy uh section that comes out the only thing that like i said i, I would really like to see differently uh specifically on this would be uh, a little bit better of a fade here kind of like what you have down here how it kind of is white and then it fades up here i kind of wish that that was uh incorporated there a little bit now we do have the uh, jurassic park facts app that is in messenger so let's load this up let's get the little uh thing going just like so boom here we go so bring that back down loading the little app up doo -doo -doo. and here we go okay so uh again all the different uh, areas for the uh the island we're gonna click on the little scan button down here we got the section there let's bring this around and where's the foot there we go and and here we have Carney, uh, again, that, that looks really nice. I love the animation. I, mean, I do wish that I could swipe on the screen to get her to rotate around to get more uh, of a, a look of her. Uh, but that looks really cool. Again, I love the fact that what you see in the app here actually matches with how the toy looks. I think that's fantastic. Checking out some of the facts, clicking on that, looking in this top left one. The Carnotaurus weighs about 2.1 tons, as much as 12 lions. That's uh, pretty big. Like I said, one ton is about 2,000 pounds, so a little over 4,000 pounds. Uh, big, big, I mean, 4,000 pounds, that's heavy. For an animal uh let's check out this one the name carnotaurus means meat eating bull which i already told you guys that you already knew that and then this one down here says her horns aren't weapons they help her identify others uh, i don't know necessarily if that's accurate um i don't think uh, there's any real i mean there's several different prevailing theories as to what uh the horns actually are for but now going back that opens things up obviously you have blue you have the carnotaurus you have uh, steggy and you have rexy right there so what is this one i don't know what that is so there's a uh, t-rex steggy and of course good old carney right there so really very cool yeah, so ending this little app itself very very happy with how this turned out again uh in, in terms of uh appearances i don't think that we have seen a carnotaurus yet in any of the jurassic films uh i believe we have seen her uh shown in the trailer for the new uh, fallen kingdom movie so i i'm definitely interested in uh, seeing how they're going to incorporate her uh, maybe we'll just get that one scene where the t-rex just comes and eats her and i, I didn't do this in steggy's video but uh, i should bring in that uh, uh the chomping i forgot what it is but here's the t-rex uh so you can see that uh the t-rex is bigger than the carnotaurus and that is uh kind of accurate here as well uh so uh overall the, i think that the scale works pretty decently and then you're gonna have one well, that's recurring if i push this uh, well, hold on come on there we go push push you down and you can ah, 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 ah. and then you can have the bird that's not even doing it but all right then. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so I'm having a little bit too much fun. But that's it. Uh, another really nice addition to the uh, the dinosaur collection that we're getting from Mattel here. I think they did a terrific job. Uh, I, I do recommend her. Uh, if you're a fan of dinosaurs, if you're a fan of Jurassic World, these are some of the best-looking dinosaur toys that we've ever gotten, and I love them. So, all that being said, if Carnotaurus here is a figure that you'd like to add to your collection, she's available right now at various retailers, or as always, there's Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do for that is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to BBTS where you can check out availability on her as well as the rest of the wide range of new Jurassic World figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, this has been Optobotomous saying that if you like this video, I would really appreciate your support and letting me know by hitting that thumbs up button. It actually does go a long way towards helping me out, and I would really appreciate it. Also, if you're new here, welcome. And before you go, make sure you subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you'll get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video, and you'll never miss out on a future review of mine. Or hey, if you already subscribed, now more than ever it's important to make sure that you're getting those email notifications. We all know just how unreliable that YouTube subscription box is, and the best way to help support my channel and not miss any future reviews of mine is to click on that little bell right below this video and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And a very special thanks if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Another way that you can really help support my channel is making sure that you watch a video all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. And finally, remember that the real trouble with the world is too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.